Hello there, short friends. This is going to be a video about some questions that I've gotten in the not too recent distant future or f past. Anyway, I'm too drunk to really know time well. But the point is, what makes a sword good? The question comes up, what actually makes a sword good? Now, I've been having a few different conversations, some with actual people and some just with myself and, you know, the demons within and whatnot. And the question has been posed in a lot of different ways. What actually makes a sword good? Uh, is it is it a tie to history in a martial art that you study to, to give you some sort of feeling or connection with the past or with an ancestor or with a something, something, I don't know. Uh, is it something functional that would help you defend your, your family, your kin, your property from something? Is it something that you fuck around with in the backyard? Is it just something that's a good thrifty value? Is it something that's a good investment? Uh, or is it something else? And, and frankly, I think there's a lot of different answers to that question. But it comes down to what makes a thing good, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be related to a sword. Uh, the question is something that, more to the point, the, the real thing that I'm driving to is that you have to answer that really yourself. Um, in the question of swords, what makes them good, I see all the time these topics go back and forth and these arguments go back and forth. And really people aren't driving to the, the right question, and that is what makes a sword good to them. Now, the reason that that is important is because a martial arts practitioner that is studying Toyama Ryu, for example, because I have some vague understanding of this, uh, and you are looking to do competitive tamashigiri, uh, or, or you're looking to cut straw mats as effectively and accurately as possible, is going to look for a particular type of blade. Now, if that student is doing so on a budget, they are going to look for the most value-centric, bang-for-their-buck blade that allows them to cut those targets as effectively as possible. Uh, likewise, a martial arts student who's studying in a historic kind of uh, more antiquated art, if you will, that has a more relevant, maybe tie to history, less practical application, less competition, but more um, studying like a warrior would in the 14th century, that person is probably going to choose something a little different. Even if they're both bang for the buck customers, even if they're both on a budget, one is going to choose a blade that's dedicated to lawn mowing, as I call it, and one is going to choose something that suits their particular style, a little bit better in the, the movements that they do, but they're looking for a more accurate tie to history versus a competitive edge. And both of those people need to ask the question, what, what, is, what am I trying to do? Uh, and that's where I think I've faltered, frankly, in reviews and something I need to wrap my head around. It seems like a sword has a, a dynamic feeling for its application. It has a value in its relative market compared to its peers. It has a tie to, can I get my money back out of it? Can I make money in the future? It has uh, an element of collection. And it also has this element of, um, if the shit hits the fan and I don't study katana stuff, can I whack it into stuff and still feel like I know what I'm doing? Um, and there's probably some elements that I'm not really examining effectively. And there's this kind of weird balancey thing, this scale with, you know, seven dimensions to it that I... I have trouble balancing in my brain to give give people that handle swords um, a very accurate understanding of, of what they're looking at buying from the point of view, the question that they're really trying to answer. Now I'm rambling on and I'm digressing, but the main point I'm really asking is I'm looking at things from a few different angles that I kind of can wrap my head around, but there's probably a lot of angles that I really can't wrap my head around, things that I'm not thinking of. And so I'm asking the community, what makes a sword good? What makes a sword good? What to you does does a sword mean? What, what when you're trying to get to the root essence of a blade that you're buying, that you want to spend your hard-earned money on, what are you actually looking for? And it might not just be one thing. Maybe you're looking at it something that balances between these two things and that neglects this other thing. Or maybe you're looking for something that has this and not that or all of the things. Or maybe you're looking for something that can do anything. Or maybe you're looking for something that does only just one thing specifically. Or I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing is that I, I don't know what I don't know. I'm unconsciously ignorant when it comes to the subject. Even as much as I think about swords, I admit that I don't necessarily know how everyone that buys swords thinks about what swords are good. God, I'm rambling so fucking much. The point is, 
to you, the viewer watching right now, throw in the comments below, what do you think actually makes a sword good? If you buy a sword, what does it need to balance? What are you actually after when you buy something? Are you a martial artist that lo that's looking for something for competitive cutting? Are you looking for a tie for history? Are you a collector? Are you something that I haven't elaborated on? Are you somebody that, that has a completely different view on what a sword should be? And I, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear why you think a sword is good, what it should do, what it shouldn't do, and what makes you, more, more importantly, I think, um, isn't just what it should be, but as a buyer, as a person that's willing to spend their money, because that's really what it all comes down to, is what's worth your money. Everyone sees these swords that are thousands of dollars, right? But very few people spend their money on them. So what to you is actually worth your hard-earned money? What does a sword need to do uh, to, to garner your patronage? And that's, that's kind of the question that I'm really after, is what makes it worth it? Now, the, the reason I'm asking is really to, you know, I guess conversation one, but also as a reviewer, what context should I be thinking about swords in as I review stuff? I think I do stuff from, a, you know, as I try to wrap my head around various different buyer perspectives because I have a jumble of personalities and sword interests in my own brain, but I don't think I'm covering them all and there's probably something that I'm missing. In fact, today at work, well, I won't bore you with the statistics of being a cubicle jockey, uh, <laughs> It seems like the more I get a handle on my job, the more I realize that there are balls I'm dropping that I don't even realize. There are elements uh, and things that I'm responsible for that I frankly have no idea. Just things come out of the blue and it's like, hey, you are completely fucking up because you had no idea that this side of your world existed. And in my hobby, in my interest, in my passion, in the sword community that I love, I, I don't want to do that, right? Um, I would like to understand all of the perspectives that go into what makes a sword good, and I especially don't want to be as unconsciously ignorant as I am now. So if you have something to add, please throw it in the commentary below. Let me know what you think. What makes a sword good? I've rambled on that subject enough. To switch topics radically, which I probably shouldn't do in the subject of a video that I'm probably going to call what makes a sword good plus Ikea stuff, um, right back here is a blank spot and you notice that there are stuff on the walls and then over on that side there is stuff on the walls and there there's stuff and there there's stuff but really in this room there's just not stuff here this by the way is a shoe rack also I think maybe from Ikea that's just full of knives and other sword parts uh, people have asked me what the hell that is it's it's a it's a shoe rack but there's no shoes in it at least I don't think um, but here maybe there's a spot I could stick swords on my wall so I got some of the Jarnum, jar, jarnum, jar, jarnum. I got, I got some of these. Um, they are a thing from IKEA, and they're kind of handy. Um, wherein you have this little latch, and you can stick some screws through here, and they mount on the wall, and then they kind of sit up like this, so they're kind of just a fancy little, uh, you know, decoration on the wall. They look, you know, they're not very obtrusive, but when you want them, they flip down. And I thought if I had two of them, I could make some sort of, spread them apart enough where I could hold a European sword, uh, but close enough where if I mounted a katana or some other sword horizontally, they would fit. I'm not entirely sure how well they work, but I think I'm going to stick them on the back wall there. Uh, wondering if any of you have thought of other creative solutions to sword mounting. I have made some wood racks, but that is a pain in the fucking ass, I tell you. I, I did it, and it required tools and sanding and time, and I, I don't want to do that. These require two screws and maybe a level, so I think that might be a little bit more my speed, given the craftiness that you all know I'm into. Uh, do you have any other <laughs> thoughts into what makes a sword rack good? Um, also, what do you think of the bjornum? I'm probably... Bjar, bjarnum, 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 bjard, bjarnum, bjarnum, I, fuck, I don't have any idea what this is supposed to be, but Ikea number 18260, the little coat rack thing, it seems like it'd be a really solid coat rack, bjarnum, that might sound like a, a really good liqueur, or maybe some sort of anal venereal disease, I don't know exactly what that sounds like but anyway it's a neat rack apparatus let me know your thoughts i'm going to stop rambling as always cheers and thanks for watching